In northwest Tanzania is Liatoli, a site of great significance in science's attempt to unravel the mystery of human evolution. Several million years ago, a nearby volcano began belching clouds of ash, which settled in layers in the surrounding savanna. The animals that lived in the area left their tracks in the moist ash after a light rainfall. But they were not alone. Three hominids, our early human ancestors, walked by, leaving their footprints as well. Over three and a half million years later, the footprints were discovered during an expedition led by archaeologist Mary Leakey. Well, we first found animal prints. That was in 77, I think, quite by accident. The discovery of the trackway advanced our knowledge of the course of human development, in particular, the ability to walk upright habitually an adaptation that fostered the development of stone tools. Here you had these impressed footprints, the first evidence of bipedalism from three and a half million years ago, the only such evidence in the world. Had Mary Leakey not reburied this site in 1979, there would be nothing here today, nothing. It's a very susceptible site to weathering because the volcanic ash that's now hardened into stone is nonetheless still a very, very soft ash. In 1992, the Antiquities Department of the Tanzanian government asked the Getty Conservation Institute to consider how the trackway might be saved from the acacia trees growing on top of the buried trackway. It is a site for humankind, but because it happens to be in our own country, we have the responsibility and the duty to preserve it for posterity, not only for Tanzanians, but for humankind. So it's very important to us. And that's why we made uh, all efforts possible to get people who could uh, assist, assist us and work as partners to conserve it. Mary had done her original reburial there just by um, intuition. It had been preserved under the ground for three and a half million years, put it under the ground again, cocoon it, put it in storage, the right decision. The fact that trees have grown here is unfortunate, but we know that had it been left exposed, erosion would have eaten it away, the cattle would have walked across it, visitors may have taken pieces away, so reburial was the right thing, which is why we're doing it again now. A team of specialists from the Getty Conservation Institute and Tanzania re-excavated the trackway, extracted dead roots, stabilized the surface, and recorded the site stereophotographically. When conservation and documentation were complete, the site was once again buried, but this time using new materials and techniques. The first layer covering the footprint uh, um, layer is this sand here, mm -hmm. a fine sifted sand um, that fills the, the trackway. On top of that is a defining marker of geotextile this fabric is a permeable fabric, that is to say water can flow down and water can flow up. This product here is a, a material called BioBarrier. It's actually just a geotextile, the same as this, but it has these little studs or nodules on it, which liberates uh, a, um, a herbicide. The herbicide doesn't kill the vegetation, in fact what it does is inhibit root growth. Now on top of the Second layer of biobarrier, you can see this uh, nylon wire. It, it, it provides grip to the sand layer above. And then finally, the protective armor of lava boulders, again from the site. Nearby at Olduvai, in a museum dedicated to the work of the Leakeys, visitors can see an exhibition of Liatoli and its conservation that includes a replica of the trackway. At Liatoli itself, the site is watched over and maintained by the Tanzanian authorities. Experience has shown that successful preservation of archaeological sites requires the cooperation of local people. Thank you for coming. At the end of the field project, the Maasai community, the conservation team, and Mary Leakey 
gathered at the Liatoli site for a blessing ceremony. The traditional ceremony has made the trackway at Liatoli more meaningful to the Maasai community, perpetuating the memory of the site and helping to ensure its long-term survival. <laughs>